In this tutorial, I will show how to create own glazing materials for the energy simulation because it's not possible to create them as it is with the solid construction like the roof, floors and walls. So when you're selecting a, a window, you go to edit and in the bottom you can give it an analytical construction but you cannot build up any material from Revit. You have to do it inside a text file and that is what I'm going to show. And the reason I want to show this is because many of these glazing materials don't fit to the Danish construction market or U values. So in this case I will show how to do that. And it works the same way for doors as I'm going to show here. You need to open a folder and go to this path going through C, Programs, Autodesk, Revit 2014 if you're using that or 15. And here you should choose for example in this case the US because that is the one I'm using for this machine. And then you should search for constructions. Go to C and I have the construction XML file here. And within this file there's all the constructions that you can choose as a predefined. A good tip is to copy the standard one so you don't destroy it. This one you can open with a text editor like Notepad. So I will just right click and say open or open with and notebook for example. Then we see it's just a text file this one and the first one we have here that's a construction for the solid parts. It's mainly used for the MIP functionalities within Revit. You can choose between these the default construction instead of build construction up with layers and materials you can actually do this as well. This is something that I will talk about in a other video on how to make more detailed energy simulation than it is possible just by using the building elements. So I will search for some glazing materials pressing Control B and then I can search for like let's say window find next and then we're down in the part of the glazing materials. These ones you see here it's actually the one you see in Revit and just to show it if I select my window here and go to edit type in the bottom with the analytical construction we have these types so I'm going back to the notebook and to make a new one the best and easiest way of doing it is by selecting an already existing uh, window select all the lines that's very important for window type to the transmittance so I'll press Control C just go up here in front of this one and press Control V to paste it in again. Oops, I see here. I have to notice this part. I need to press Enter because it's very important that these text lines are starting with window type. That's the way Revit understands library for the windows, for example. And first you should look at the window type ID. You should give it another name so that it's not two of the same one. Then it's will probably get some arrows if you have that so you could call this for like your name and the next line is about the name that is written as we can see here that's the name and let's go construction this is the name so I'll change this one to something else it could be like custom double glazed window low energy and I don't need the coding in this case we'll remove that and for the description I will use the same name as I have for the name so I'll just copy this part control C and then remove this part control V and then I can go in and change the U value of course you should go in and find a specific glaze so you know the values that fits to the solar gain and the, the transmittance so if it's like a double glazed window I think it could be something like 1.6 that should be okay in this case the next part is the solar heat gain coefficient and it consists of uh, different lines or more lines. The main factor, that's the top one here that we also see here in, in Revit on the analytical properties 0 0.86 and that is what we have here. So that is when we have the angle of the wall as 0 like a vertical wall then it's 
this soda gain coefficient. So let's say I wanted to have a one that is having a lot of solar gain through, then I should try to find one that is close to one because the one is getting all the energy through the window. And the easiest way is to find and search in the in the already existing ones. So I can see this one here on 0 0.78 and I will copy this one. Make sure you have the empty space in front here as well. Control C going up to the one we are creating here in this example and select or delete and press Control V and the reason for I'm doing that instead of just changing this part is because that solar heat gain is different depending on the angle of the window but in most cases the windows is like zero that means it's a, it's a vertical wall but in some cases you could have sloped walls and that's why there's other coefficient because it will letting more energy through the glaze because of the angle to the sun. So the easy way is just to copy an existing one and then paste it to the new one you are creating. The last one is the visible transmittance and that one is a little bit easier than the solar gain. I could just easily change that one to let's say 0 0.5 and in many cases I actually prefer to have the solar gain coefficient written in the name and the visible transmittance in the text so I easily I can pick it. So after low energy I will just put in first the solar heat gain coefficient and visible transmittance. So now it's much easier to find the right one. But then I should copy this one to the name as well. So these two match like this. And when I've finished with this part, I can press Control S. In some cases, it can be an arrow, so I need to save it, for example, to the desktop and close this one. And then open the desktop from a folder, for example, and the folder I should copy it into. Select this one, Control C, go to the other folder, Control V, and then it will come up with an arrow. And I want to replace the file like that going back to Revit and select the window, go to edit type and go to analytical constructions, search for the one you just created and if you can't find it you need to close Revit down and open it up once again and I'll just do that and now I have opened the model again, select the window, go to edit type, go to analytical construction and then we have this new one we just created, customized double glazed window with low E with solar heat gain coefficient of 0 0.78 and visual transmittance of 0 0.5 and then we can see the data specified here and if I press OK this will be applied to all the windows of this type.